Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round to the nearest cent. Now, when we round to the nearest cent, we round to the hundredths place. Since there are 100 cents in a dollar, the hundredths place is the furthest decimal place to the right that we go when working with money. So that means we sometimes need to round to the nearest cent if the decimal goes past the hundredths place when working with money. Let's jump into number one and round that amount of money to the nearest cent. This decimal goes to the thousandths place, which doesn't make sense for an amount of money. So we need to round to the nearest cent, the hundredths place. We need to see if this is closer to $5.98 or $5.99. So let's take a look at the digit in the hundredths place, since we are rounding to the hundredths place. There's an eight. Now we need to take a look at the digit to the right, in the thousandths place. That digit tells us if we stay the same or round up. Remember, four or less, we stay the same. Five or more, we round up. Seven is five or more, so this rounds up. This rounds to $5.99. Basically, what we do here when we round money to the nearest cent, we cut the decimal off after the hundredths place, and we do this by rounding. Let's move on to number two, where we have $32 and then a fairly long decimal. Let's round this to the nearest cent. Again, that's the hundredths place. We have a three in the hundredths place. Take a look to the right in the thousandths. We have a two. So is that four or less or five or more? Two is four or less. So we stay the same. This rounds to $32 and 43 cents. So again, we cut this decimal off after the hundredths place by using rounding. So there you have it. There's how you round to the nearest cent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.